I'm Jake Hansen from Lander, Wyoming. I am an independent writer, director, and producer. I went to school at New York Film Academy for screenwriting and LA Film School for their filmmaking program. Uh, I worked at McCune Design and DreamWorks Animation before moving back to Wyoming to work on my own stuff and start my own production company. My biggest influences in film, a lot of them come from old westerns, old uh, John Ford, Sam Peckinpah, um, Ted Post, um, all the old classics like Man With No Name and uh, Sergio Leone, of course. Um, a lot of influences from movies like Hang 'em High, uh, Sons of Katie Elder, um, Jeremiah Johnson, um, and then Major Dundee, movies like that. Um, just really good character stories in these really interesting worlds that, that I never got to see and never will get to see. So um, unique settings are, are huge for me um, when I'm watching a film, whether it's, whether it's a Western, whether it's outer space, whether it's current day Los Angeles, it, it doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> and then a lot of influence came from guys like Tony Scott, Ridley Scott, uh, Catherine Bigelow, uh, James Cameron, Terminator 2, uh, Terminator, Aliens, all these all these movies that I watched as a kid and I thought, well, these are really cool, I'd really like to do them. And as I got older, I realized that it wasn't just about the action. As, as, as Shane Black, I, I read that, you know, an, an article from him, it, 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 the action doesn't matter, it's all about the character. And if you look at these movies, they all have great characters that you care about, that you're, that you're drawn to, and you want to go along with them on these journeys. So filmmakers like that really inspired me. Um, one of the most recent, one of the more recent directors that I'm following, writer directors I'm following, is uh, Jeff Nichols. He did Midnight Special, Mud, and before that, Shotgun Stories. And he's not a huge action guy, but he's a great. He, he's he's really great at telling character stories, and his characters are always fascinating. And and uh, once you start a journey with them, you can't look away. The hardest part about getting this film made, I think, was it seemed like it was all of the pre-production and all the permits and getting getting everything squared away there. Um, the actual production wasn't the hardest part at all, but the hardest part came in post-production because we this was such a big undertaking for some first-time or really green behind the ears filmmakers who um, we we knew what we were doing, but we didn't know what we were doing. And the best part was was that we knew we we knew we didn't know what we were doing so um, it was a big undertaking and in the end I think that the most the most challenging part was actually getting this edited learning the After Effects learning the Maya learning all, all, everything that we needed to do and then getting it down to finding the right cut um, and it took a lot of time but in the end it was worth it and we learned so much that going to the next one we know it won't be easy but we know more of the more of the snags and hang-ups that we need to look out for uh, before we start and um, yeah that's it. When, when people watch this film I want them to leave the theater feeling like they're at a launching point. I want them to feel like they're at a stepping stone and they're gonna see it'll leave them wanting to see more. We want them to we, we want them to have been fully engaged with Ben Eldridge and Leanne Barnett and John Hartwell and Nixon Thomas and really want to know who these characters are, what they're all about, what their motivations are, and really what's going to happen to them next. So when they leave the theater, what we really want them to take away is, I want to see more. I want to see, I want to see what happens next. I want to continue this journey and see what happens in Outpost. I want to see what happens at Pathfinder 1. I want to see what happens with Tate. I want to see everything else that could happen on this on this planet a fun fact about me that might be fun might not be um, is that I'm in Wyoming and I'm writing directing producing back here in my home state um, and it, it allows me to to do everything that I was doing out in LA um, but there's I feel like I have more resources available here as far as locations and everything else because I, I know people I can get everything done and, and with, with the technology that we have available today there's 
there's a lot of opportunities that you don't have to be in LA to do. Um, so I think that one of the one of the fun things about me is that I'm I'm in Wyoming, and uh, if, if you haven't been or haven't don't know where it is on the map, I'll, I'll point directly where I am, and uh, I I think that's kind of a fun thing. People should go see our film because it's fun. It's entertaining, and uh, I, I think that they'll love the characters. They'll love the world and the situation. I think that they'll be they'll be really interested when they see it, when they hear about it. And um, like I said earlier about when they leave the theater, they're going to want more, and they're going to feel like these characters are part of their lives because once once we put it up on the screen, once people see it, they'll either want more or they won't. They'll either want to be part of it or they won't. And at that point, the film becomes just as much theirs as it is ours. And that's really what we want. We want them to feel like they're part of this and just want to continue on this journey with these uh, characters and their situation.